Hi, real estate attorney Roy Oppenheim here. I want to talk a little bit about what happens when a buyer does not close on a property after they've signed the contract. What happens when a buyer defaults? And what, what, what can a seller do basically under those circumstances? So in this, in this real estate frenzy that's going on right now, we have situations where buyers default in some cases because the property doesn't appraise out. Although in some cases, if you have a contingency for, for financing, uh, that shouldn't be considered a default, but sometimes it might be depending on the contract. Uh, but if the buyer just changes their mind, they don't get the job they thought they were going to get. They're, they're getting separated or divorced or they get sick or they lose their job and now they cannot close on the property. Uh, what is a seller to do if the buyer is defaulting? So the first thing is, of course, a seller should always take a real deposit, not a little deposit, but five or 10% of the total purchase price. So if in fact that, that occurs, the seller will have the right to claim that security deposit, that escrow deposit. And so if that happens, uh, that may be uh, considered the liquidated damages that you're entitled to under the contract and you get the deposit, you keep the deposit and you sell the property to someone else. Um, if that is not the case, um, depending on the contract, maybe, maybe, maybe you can sue for uh, some, something. Um, most of the contracts don't allow for that. They usually call for only liquidated damages uh, by the seller keeping the deposit. And so because of that, it's really important that when you review your contract, you make sure that if that's your sole remedy, that you have enough of a deposit at stake, that if the buyer decides to change your mind, that you'll be comfortable with keeping that deposit. Again, if you're a seller, uh, you should have an attorney representing you in a real estate transaction. And equally, if you're a buyer, you should have an attorney. And uh, we have a title company, of course, Western Title, that can assist buyers, uh, in some cases sellers, uh, with their transactions. And when, along with that, you have a, a host of four attorneys who are always ready, willing, and able to represent you as time is needed. Uh, again, Roy Oppenheim, real estate attorney, 954-384-6114. Thank you, and uh, feel free to call Oppenheim Law.